What's up, freaks? We are getting set for a live boot camp cardio core session, a full hour long training session. Follow along right from home. You don't need any equipment. This is the, the, really the second hour we're spending together here today, live on Facebook, live on Instagram. If you missed it, we just, it just completed a little while ago. Episode number 87 of Steve Says, just a little while ago on building relationships, cultivating relationships. Go check that out as you're getting set up here for the workout. You need no equipment today. We're going to be here together for a full hour training session, a full 60-minute training session, full warm-up. All you need is your body weight. That's it. You don't even need any space. You can literally do this workout today in an empty freaking elevator. You don't need any space. You don't need any equipment. And this type of training will get you in the best shape of your life because this is the type of training that I've been doing now for the last eight, nine months and getting in the best shape of my life. So your, your age is not an excuse for being in the best shape of your life. A, 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 a virus that's out there, a lockdown, a shutdown, gyms being closed, whatever. It's not even about the workouts anymore. Listen, you know what a push-up is. You know what a jumping jack is. Running is free. Sit-ups are free. Push-ups are free. You don't need any space or equipment. You just need the right coaching, the right guidance, the right mindset. That's what you need, the right accountability. Really what it comes down to is you need a coach. You don't even need a trainer anymore. You don't even need someone to tell you what exercise to do anymore. You just need a coach. Someone that's going to light the fire under your ass to get you up off the fucking couch and get moving and get your workout in. Get your training in. Get your mindset right. Get your personal development in. That's what this is all about. This is a, a personal development workout and program just as much or even more than it's a physical fitness or weight loss or getting in shape program. So we're getting set up here. I want to give you a second to get ready. We're going to get warmed up. You don't need any equipment. You don't need any space. A full hour-long training session right here. Absolutely free. Let's get moving. Let's start getting warmed up. Again, you don't need any equipment. And we're going to be standing and on the floor. So here's how it's going to go. We're going to be first exercise of each round is going to be in the push-up position. Literally, you're going to do two push-ups and then two reps of whatever the exercise is. Two push-ups, two reps of whatever the exercise is. So that's in the push-up position. Then there's going to be an exercise standing. Then there's going to be an exercise on the floor on your back. And then an exercise in a low plank on your forearm. So four different positions. We're going to rotate between those all day. Every time, every round starts in the push-up position. And every round is going to have push-ups included with the exercise. So you're going to combine the push-ups with the exercise you're doing. Like the first round, for instance, is going to be shoulder taps. That means you're going to do two push-ups, then two shoulder taps. Two push-ups, two shoulder taps, and you'll rotate through. So every set is going to have push-ups. The reason for that is we are getting our push-ups conditioned for March 6th. You can join us if you want. The freak shows behind me. We're going to be doing 24 hours. Yes, 24 hours worth of push-ups straight through, no sleep, seeing how many reps we can get of push-ups in 24 hours, literally without stopping. Just one set. We're not even going to come down and rest. We're going to be in the push-up position for 24 hours. No, that's bullshit. You can't be in the position for 24 hours, but it's a set recover set recover literally for 24 hours straight so every single session we're doing we're mixing in push-ups to start getting conditioned for this march 6th push-up challenge 24-hour push-up challenge it sounds ridiculous it is ridiculous it's unrealistic it's way the freak out there it's nuts it's stupid it's out of reach it's impossible and that's exactly why the fuck we're gonna do it because that's the way you should be setting your goals forget about your 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 realistic your attainable your goals that you set because all you do is you limit yourself in a little box. I don't want you to think outside the box. I want you to crush the fucking box and not even be, be existing in a box or outside a box. Exist in your own damn world. That's it. Exist in the universe. That's where you need to be. <laughs> but we have a workout to get to before I just keep oh. babbling and babbling and going on. So let's get moving. Let's get rolling. We need to get warmed up and stretched out. So we're going to walk forward. How that stream? I need to stand there talking. So tightened up that I feel my knee tense from talking. Forward. Walking forward with big forward shoulder circles, then walk backwards with backward shoulder circles. Help, help, you happen help. to bump into anyone, then you bump into them. Forward with forward shoulder circles, backwards with backward shoulder circles. Just keep moving forward, get loose. Kid just almost knocked me out, just sucker punched me. The knives are laying Freaking around. B-I-T-C-H B-I-T slapped me. Forward shoulder circles walking forward. Did you kill? Backwards Bear? shoulder circles walking backwards. All right, stay right in place. You're gonna alternate a quad stretch. You back up so because Facebook has a little different angle. Quad stretch for three seconds. Other quad stretch for three seconds. Knee hug for three. Knee hug for three. Just keep rotating. Quad. Quad. Knee hug. Knee hug. 
Go at your own pace, stretch those out. Keep it moving, you're getting those legs ready. We're gonna be on the ground a lot. You're gonna be getting a lot of push-ups in. All right, let's fling that chest open. You can just stand right in place. Okay. Fling your chest open, stretch that shoulder for three seconds. One, two, three. Fling it open again and stretch the other side. Don't forget, every round starts in the push-up position and every exercise is combined with push-ups. That's a shitload of push-ups. <sighs> Breathe it out. Your feet can be stepping in place here so you're getting the blood flowing through the lower body. Fling it, catch it, stretch it. Alternate with sides, you're stretching. Fling it, catch it, stretch it. I'm gonna keep playing with this camera so when we're on the ground, you'll be able to see and I'll be able to back up so you can see me on Facebook. So we're gonna go wide feet here and you're gonna touch the floor and reach those arms overhead. I'm gonna have to back this up, I think. It just doesn't show enough. Otherwise, if I don't back this camera up when we're on the ground, all you're gonna be doing is zoomed in on my crotch and you won't be able to see what the hell the exercise is. And this ain't Instagram. That crotch day on Instagram is, is, is Thursday. All right, to the floor, reach overhead. Both hands to the right leg, pulling the chest open. Back to the middle, straight up. Left, fling it out. Middle, up, get that stretch. Hold it for a little longer if you need to at the bottom. If you need to get that stretch in your hamstrings, your hips, lower back, out to the side. When you reach to the middle, you reach straight up. When you reach to either side, fling the chest open. Let's go, shake that out, shake those arms out. Shake them, shake them, bounce around a little bit. While you're sitting here watching, Make sure you're liking this video. Put a comment below, where are you doing this training session from? If you're doing it live or replay, type in live or replay, and then make sure you share this with all your friends, your family members, your coworkers, and let's get rolling. All right, so this first round, again, every round starts in the push-up position. We're gonna get rolling right off the back. This first round's pretty, a little slower pace to get you warmed up, to get you just started. I'm gonna keep adjusting this camera for you. So we're gonna be in the push-up position. The first exercise is shoulder taps. So we're gonna do two push-ups live in your bedroom yes if you need any space here you could do this right there in the bedroom Come on, let's go. <laughs> all right so it's shoulder taps to start off so push-up position don't forget every set's going to combine the exercise with the push-ups so you're going to do two push-ups one two and then two shoulder taps just one each side two push-ups one two tap tap push push if you're having trouble with this, just bring your feet further apart. Bring them apart. It'll make the push up a little easier. It'll give you more stability for the shoulder tap. Two push, two tap. Right back down. Breathe it out. Into the nose, way down, out to the mouth, the way up on those push ups. Stiff as a board. Abs are strong. If you want more of a challenge, put your feet together. Makes you less stable. It's just the first set, so we're not going crazy and you're up on your feet. So this round is just standing on your feet. It's just gonna be front kicks. So we're literally just standing here, just loosening up those hips, alternating side to side. Right front kick, step. You're gonna switch your step to kick with the back leg. Boom, step, switch. Right kick, step down, put your left leg back. Left kick, step, switch. Right kick, switch. Just keep switching, front kicks. Loosening up those legs a little more. You are just getting warmed up, just getting rolling, just getting started. So this is our standing set. We did our push-up position set. Here's our standing set to keep getting warmed up. And then we're going to be on our backs the next set, and then on our forearms, on our elbows for low plank. Switch and boom. Bam. All right, we're going to go right onto our backs for a lower crunch. Right on your back for lower crunch. I'm gonna keep changing the angle of that camera so you can see when we're down here on the floor. Lower crunch, just curl the knees to the chest. See, my knees are bent 90 degrees. I'm not changing the angle of my legs. Curl it up. Tension on those abs the whole time. We are just getting the body moving. Squeeze it. Tight squeeze, press that lower back to the floor. So you keep tension on your abs the whole time. Dig, 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 dig. Two more. Just getting the body moving. You're gonna flip right over into the plank position. And you're just gonna do shoulder taps from that low plank position. 
So you're here, forearms are parallel to each other. Your hand literally comes off the floor, taps your shoulder, and then bring it down. Whole arm comes off the floor, and not just like this, Tice, like you did that last time. Not just an elbow twist. The arm literally comes off the, off the ground to tap that shoulder. Grab your shoulder. Feel the ripping muscles in your shoulder supporting you. Tight abs. Ha. Ha. Stinky feet are in my face. It smells like butt, foot, and corn chips. Switch. Tight. And good. Come on your feet. Technically, that's all four. We're going to go loop that right back around and repeat that round. So right back to the push-ups and shoulder taps right after that plank. That's what we want. Repeat each round two times. Let's go. Push-up. Two push-ups. One. Two. Tap. Tap. Push. For two. Tap. For two. Push. For two. Tap. Tap. Breathe it out. Pump it out. Your own speed. Your own pace. Do what you got to do. Keep it moving. Keep it rolling. And come up on your feet for those front kicks. Standing, alternating front kicks. Go. Bang them out. Pump it out. Bend the knee. Boom. Switch. Kicking with just the back leg. Bend the leg and extend. Boom. Boom. Getting that rhythm. Get the legs loosened up. Getting them warmed up. Still just getting started. You can already feel your chest, your shoulders, your tries. Already started working with just a couple of sets. Just by mixing those two push-ups in with the other exercise, you're going to get a whole lot of more bang for your buck. And we're going to get conditioned for our 24 hours of push-ups coming up in a little more than a month. Time on your back for that lower crunch. It's going to be annoying. I'm going to keep moving the camera here for you, but that's just the way it's going to go. Facebook has a very narrow lens on that camera. Curl it. Knees to the chest. Squeeze. Tight, tight, tight. Press your lower back to the floor. So you keep tension on your core. Tension on your abs. Stronger. A few more. You're going to get tons of Upper body work today, lower body, cardio, and tons of core. Flip right over. For those low plank, spinning around in circles on my hands and knees. The freaking lost dog, lost puppy dog. Plank position. Shoulder taps from the low plank. Slow motion. So you're reaching across, touch it. Grab your shoulder and then put it down. Grab it, put it down. Grab it. So make sure you hold that position for a full second and a half, two seconds. Complete control. Tighter abs. Strong core. Squeeze. Two more. Time. So that's the first group. And we're gonna jump right into the second group here in a second. You don't need much of a break. We're just getting warmed up. Just enough time here to shake it out. Get those shoulders ready, because you know the first set of each group is gonna have those two push-ups mixed in with the exercise. So this one is gonna have knee tucks. You're gonna hit two push-ups, then tuck your right knee to your chest, left knee to your chest. So it's gonna be push-up, two push-ups, two knee tuck. That's gonna start things off. Then you'll be on your feet for a simple jumping jack. So again, it's push-up position, standing, right? Then on your back, flip over for a low plank on your forearms. Same routine every time. Every push-up set has two push-ups mixed in with another exercise. So let's get it rolling, let's shift the camera down. Push up to knee tuck. I'm gonna do this one sideways so you can kind of see where my knees are going. So you're gonna do two push ups. One, two, right knee tuck, squeeze. See, I'm going slow on those knee tucks. It's not a mountain climber. Two push. This time I'm gonna go left and then right, squeezing those abs. Two push. This time I'm gonna go right, dig, left, step it back. Two push. Left, right, two push, dig, squeeze, 
Bang it out. We're just getting started. Time, up on your feet, right away to a jumping jack. Start jumping, start jumping. I'm just switching the camera for you. You can start jumping already. Jumping jack, right there. Real jumping jacks, not some half-assed jumping jacks. These Facebook camera really does not show a wide range from top to bottom. Jumping jacks. Light on your feet. Bouncing your step. Getting the blood flowing. It's getting hot here. It's, we're wearing jackets here because the temperature dipped below 70 degrees here in Southern California. It's a vicious winter. I'm hoping that we can survive through this winter, this harsh winter. It's below 70 degrees, but this is coming off soon. This stripping will commence pretty soon, so I hope you got your dollar bills ready. All right, on your backs. On your backs, we are on upper crunches, upper crunches. So right here, feet fly the floor, knees bent. Just curl your head and shoulder blades off the floor, press your lower back into the floor. Squeeze your abs, crunch it up. Tight squeeze, tension on that core the whole time. Those abs are tight, they don't loosen up. Squeeze it, get those head and shoulder blades off the floor. All the way back down. Squeeze it, don't let it loosen up when you come down, you're gonna get nothing out of this. Those abs should be tight every second of this set, they don't loosen up. That's how you get them stronger. Time under tension. Squeeze it, tight. Tighter, sorry, a few more. And good. You're gonna flip right over. Just like we did knee tucks after the push up, you're gonna do knee tucks from the plank position. So check it out. Side knee tucks, you're here. <coughs> Tucking your knee out to the side. So your knee almost touches your back of your arm, your tricep. Hips down, out to the side. Get your butt down and put them out to the side. Don't knee me in the face. Out to the side, crunch it. Ha! Dig in the side of your waist. The obliques. Tons of core work. Working your whole body. Time. We're gonna go right back to that push up. So in between, we're just gonna stand up just to get your blood flowing. So we're going right back to that push up position. Push up, knee tuck, knee tuck. Let's do it. Make sure you can see me on there. Let's do it. Two pushes. One, two. Squeeze the knee tuck. Left and then right. Two push. This time go right and then left. Dig, dig, dig. Core. Two. Left. Right. Two pushes. Breathe out as you're pushing up. Get so many push ups in this workout that these sets don't need to be long. To make them effective. Dig. Dig. And plus it's coming right after that plank. So your arms did not get a break. Time. Up on your feet for that jumping jack. Listen, start that jumping jack. Just while I'm adjusting the camera, you should already be jumping. You don't need to wait for me to show you what a freaking jumping jack is. I told you. The variety of the exercise, sure, that helps. But it's more the coaching, the guidance. The mindset. Listen, if you don't get your mind right first, you'll never get your body right. You'll never. Get, you can exercise your ass off all, all you want. If you don't first get this shit going up here, focus on yourself as your number one priority in your head first. Everything else is useless and will be a waste of your freaking time. Time on your back for that upper crunch. Let's go, upper body, upper crunch. Crunch it up. Dig, squeeze, pause the top, control down. Tighter abs, tighter core. Keep it tight like someone's gonna step on it. If we were in person, I would come and step on it. I'd kick it, I'd punch it. That's just how we freaking roll. Keep it tight. That's how you need to picture that someone's ready to punch you in the stomach right now. And you don't know when it's going to come. So it needs to be tight at all times. Flexing. Everything is a flex. Dig, dig, dig. And flip over for those side knee tucks. Go. Plank position. 
Drop, push up position, go, get down. Flip over. Too long to flip over, Tyson. All you do is roll your ass over. Tuck the knee out to the side. See how those knees are going out to the side, in the air, like a little Spider-Man knee tuck crunch thing. Dig it, dig it, dig it. Crunch in the side of your waist. Hips down, ass down. Back should be flat. Tight core. Dig, dig, dig. One more each side. And time. Hop up on your feet every set. Even though you're going back to the push-up position, you're going to hop on your feet after every set. Get a quick sip. Hydrate. Stretch those shoulders out because you know more push-ups are coming up. Stretch those shoulders out. Get ready. we got push-ups with plank wall coming up. It's going to be a hard upper body set here coming up. It's two push-ups and then one plank walk. I'll show you what it is in a second. Get your chest, your shoulders, your tries all stretched out. Get hydrated. I have some left of my pre-workout Herbalife Truline concoction. Once it gets halfway down, I refill back up with water and then just sip it throughout the workout just to keep it rolling. So keep it going. You should be getting your body temperature up by now. Should be time to start taking off some freaking layers. You should be sweating by now. So this one's gonna be push-up, two push-ups, and then one plank walk. Two push-up, one plank walk. All right, so a plank walk is going from the push-up position down to your forearms and back up to the push-up position. That's gonna be the first exercise. All right, let's do it. I'm gonna angle the camera down so you can see where I'm at, what I'm doing from a side view. Two pushes. Let's go. Push, push, down to low plank, back up to high, two pushes. Low, low, high, high, push, push. Bang them out. Go at your own speed, your own pace, whatever you could do. You can see me there. Two pushes, right back up. Two push ups. To plank walk. Oh yeah, lots on your upper body. A lot of work on your core. Time. On our feet, it's just a little fat, always a faster pace set. It's going split jacks. Look at my feet, I'm gonna show you here. Feet are just going front to back on your feet. Split jack, go, front to back jack, go, begin. Split jack. Start, start, start. Nice, you don't have to wait, you know what a split jack is. <laughs> Feet are going front to back. Bouncing your step. Tuck those arms in. Light on your feet. Bounce it. If you need to modify, you just step back one foot at a time. Tap it back, tap, tap. You have to modify it. Just step it back. You can see their feet go sideways. Go sideways. See the feet are going front to back on the balls of the feet. Weights evenly distributed. Bounce in the step. All right, flip onto your back. Onto your back, double crunch. Double crunch, that's just combining the two we've already done. Upper and lower come up together, down apart. That lower back does not arch off the floor. Keep tension in your core the whole time. Keep it tight. Keep it strong. Squeeze. Pause and squeeze at the top. Don't curl, don't pull on your neck. Your eyes stay on the sky. Dig, dig, dig. Constant tension. That core gets tighter and tighter every rep. Feel those muscles in there. They're in there. That six, six pack is down there somewhere. Wanting to show its face this summer. Time, this is where you start bringing that six pack out. You start making it happen is now. Flip over to the low plank. You're going double leg hops. Double leg lateral hops from the low plank. So check it out. Both feet are together touching. You're just going side to side. Right here. Just bounce it nonstop. Those hips down, hips flat, hips flat. Double leg, both toes are touching. Just going side to side. 
Midge, get your butt down. Thank you. Thank you. Ass out of the air. Look. Let's try. Bouncing okay. your step. Light on your feet. Boom. Keep it bumping. Boom. Boom. We're rolling. We're rolling. Five seconds. Five seconds. Keep it moving. Four, three, two, one, and time. You're going to stand up every time. Even though we're going right to the push-up position, I want you to stand up. It's not going to be a break just to get that blood flowing through your arms. And we're going to drop right to the push-up position. We're going back to those two pushes, two plank walks. Going in three, two, one. Go, two push. And plank walk. It's really one. one each side arms. One, two, one, two, three, four. Two pushes. And really just one plank walk. Try to alternate which arm you're doing first on the plank walk. So now I'm going to do right down, left down, right up, left up. Two pushes. I'm going to go left down, right down, left up, right up. Two pushes. Right, left, right, left. Two push. Left, right, left, right. Push. Time. Right to those split jacks. Right away. Start those split jacks. Jump it, jump it. I can see your feet. See the feet are going front to back. Split jacks. Front to back jacks. Pump it out. Bounce it out. Bounce in your step. Abs are strong. Light on your feet. Look, if you need to modify, if you can't jump, you just tap just backwards. Keep on jumping, like this. Tap, tap, jump. tap, tap. You're still moving. You're jump. still moving. This set on your feet is also just giving your arms a break jump. and your core a little bit of a break. If you're doing this stuff the right way, your arms should already be pumped up. Jump. Your abs should already be on fire. Jump. And time, flip onto your back for that double crunch. I'm gonna keep angling the damn phone down. Because if you want the phone this way, the picture this way, to get everyone in it, it cuts you short this way on Facebook. Double crunch. Squeeze. Tight squeeze. Pause and squeeze. Control down. Breathe. We're in the freaking shade now. We lost our sun. Dig, dig, dig. Five more. Stronger tension on the abs the whole freaking time. And flip right over to that low plank. Spin around. Show off those white boy break dancing moves. Go, low plank. Feet hop side. Look, if you need to modify, do this. Do hop and hold. Hop and hold. Hop, hold. If you can, just do short distance and fast. So you can go a wider distance and slow, boom, pause, boom, pause. You can go short, pop, 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 and choppy. Mid, get that ass out of the air. This is disturbing. Lower. Tyson, what are you doing? Work. Bouncing those feet side to side. Short tempo. Do what you got to do. Five seconds. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. One. Okay, five more seconds. Can we stop at zero, not one? I thought the freaks would know it, but apparently in Russia, they count a little differently. Begin. Five seconds. Start jumping. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. You suckers are lucky to fall for it. Zero time. Thought for sure I'd get them again with the whole build up to the end one, but they didn't fall for it. They fall for that thing one too many times. Shake it out, shake it, stretch it. We're going back to that push up position. We're adding in four mountain climbers. So you're gonna do two push ups, four mountain climbers. Coming up. Hydrate, stretch, shake, get those shoulders loosened up. You've done a lot of, you did a lot of push ups already. Still got a long way to go. Stretch those legs out, stretch the shoulders, get ready. So we're starting off with mountain climbers. Our standing exercise is gonna be just high knees. Our exercise on our back is gonna be single, alternating single leg leg drops. So both feet will be straight up in the air, 
Straight up, you'll just drop one leg down, bring it up. Once it's up, the other leg will drop down. All things single leg leg drops. You'll flip over onto your, onto your low plank position. Like those side knee tucks we did before, except you're gonna do them fast, like side climbers, jumping and switching for those side knee tucks. That's the way we're gonna break it down for this round. Starting with push-ups, two push-ups, four mountain climbers, going in three seconds. Let's do it. Push-up mountain climbers. <clears throat> See me, you can see me. Let's roll. Push for two. One, two, three, four. Two pushes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Jump and switch on those mountain climbers. Attack this set. This is one of our main rounds of the day. If you have to, just go back to those knee tucks for four. If the climbers don't work for whatever reason, Two pushes, four climber. Time. Up on your feet. High knees, running in place for high knees, go. Pump it, high knees, high knees, get those thighs up. Parallel to the floor. Pump those knees like they're doing. If you need to modify, look, just speed march. In place, keep that core tight to crunch those knees up. Look, I can go fast pace. Even if you can't jump, if you can't have that impact, just go speed march and get that knee up as high as you can. Or do low knees where you're just running in place low. If going high is too much impact for you, for your hip, your knee, whatever it is, there's always an alternate alternate. You can always modify before you stop. And of course, die before you quit. You can march it out or just run it out low. Pump it, pump it, pump it. One for you. Maybe one. Dig, dig, dig. Get the core in there. Five, four, three, oops, three, two, one. Time. Three, two. All right, on your backs. We have those single leg leg drops on your back. So both legs will be straight up in the air. You'll drop one leg down at a time. Alternating legs. Let's do it. So they're both straight up. Tap and bring it up. Control down. Squeeze it up. So at this top position, my abs, they're yeah, ripping okay. tight. Ripping tight. Oops. Tap it. Someone's squeeze it. Danger. Tension on those abs the whole time. Told you it's going to be cardio core. This is how you get strong abs, functional abs. Flat abs, but not how you get unfat abs. You get unfat abs by not being a pig in the kitchen and shoveling all kinds of shit in your face. That's how you get unfat abs. This will get you strong abs and functional abs, but you gotta stop shoveling shit in your face. Stay out of the damn kitchen. Squeeze, two more each side. And flip to your side. This is gonna be side climbers. Think of like a, the side knee tucks we did earlier combined with a mountain climber. So you're gonna jump and switch. You're literally gonna be in the plank position here and you're just gonna come outside where the toe actually can touch the floor. So your toe actually touched the floor in this one. The knee tuck, your toe didn't touch the floor. This one, your toe is gonna touch the floor because you're jumping and switching, but keep your hips low. You wanna to have to turn the hip outward. Work it in the whole side, the oblique of your waist. Pump it, pump it. There you go, Tyson, don't swing so much. You're swinging too much. Stay a little more straight. Just tuck the knee without the hip swinging out. There you go, hips a little lower. Stay low, stay low. So it's a side climber, side knee tuck, not just a regular mountain climber. Dig it, dig it, five seconds, five seconds. Here, out, watch out, I'm about to kick me in the nose. See, I'm just jumping and switching. Time! Stand up, just for a shake, and we're going right back for those two push-ups. Four mountain climbers coming up. Going in three, that was your break. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you recovered. That was a whopping three second break. You should be fresh and ready to roll. Time to attack that shit.
Three, two, one. Two push-ups. Ha! Four mountain climbers. Push, push, climb. Oh yeah, blast it, come on. As fast as you can go, pump this shit out. Quit bullshitting. This is what we're here for. Push, push, climb, climb. Push, push, climb, climb. Bang it out. Time. Hop on your feet. High knee in it. Right away, high knees, start, start. Pump those knees out. Get them up. High knees, running. Thighs up higher. So you hit my knee. So your knees, I mean hit my knee. So your knee hits my hand. I'm gonna do it. There, hit my hand. Get up there, high knees, you gotta run, Come run. Come on, run it, Punta. You just did a Daniel san kick. You did a Miyagi Do kick. Don't watch TV, don't watch Netflix, but if you do, you should watch Daniel san on Netflix. What's it called? Blood Tooth Dragon or something? Eagle Fang Karate! Eagle Fang Karate. In Cobra Kai. High knees, pump it out. Five. Four. Three. Two. I don't know what those are back there. Time! On your back for those leg drops. Alternating single leg leg drops. I gotta get on the counter. Right here, tap, squeeze it up, keep those abs tight. It's too cold out here, I can't even break the sweat. I know, me too. Turn on some heat. Squeeze. Tighter, tighter. Tap and squeeze. Four more. Two, three, four. Flip over for those side climbers. Low plank, side, pop it, keeping the hips down. Pump it out, pump it out. Low plank, holding those abs tight. Crunching in the side of your waist. Hips low, don't let your, your hips arch up. You want that knee, that hip to have to open up and go out to the side to get in that side of your waist, get into the waist, your obliques. Pump it, push it. Oh yeah. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, time. Shake it, shake it, shake it. You know we got a push-up set coming up. This one's gonna have push-up with uh, two push-ups, then Superman, where you right arm and left leg go in the air, you bring it down, then left arm and right leg. So you'll do two push-ups, two Supermans. It's gonna be our push-up set. Okay. Our, yeah, I'm not, I, I, I kinda got this whole workout thing going on, the boot camp thing, you know? Yeah. The standing set's gonna be a power squat, where you go pop, pop, and you drop your feet apart. I'm back up for the face bookers, boogers. And drop. So your feet bounce together twice and drop low. So that's a power squat for the face boogers. On our backs, it's going to be double, double leg leg lifts. Where both legs are straight up in the air, you just lower them both down and up. Just like the single leg leg drops, except both legs are going together. And then we flip on our back for a low plank Superman. So we do Superman's in the high plank, Superman's in the low plank. Hey daddy, instead of Superman, what can I do? Make it be you're going to lift one arm at a time, like one arm, then down, and then leg. Separate them. Shake it. Don't do it together. Stretch it. Okay. You got it? Start with those push ups. Go Two push up. Push Two up Superman. Push up time. Let's do it. Two push up. One. Two. Then right arm and left leg. Left arm and right leg. Hold it up there for a second. Two push-ups. Superman right. Superman jumping left. Right We're jumping right now. We're doing Superman. And Alternate which side you use first on the Superman. Show me Superman. Squeeze. Show me Superman. Squeeze. Yes. 
hard. To push. It's supposed to be hard. Easy. Not <sighs> opposite arm, opposite leg. One time, do the right arm first. Next time, do the left arm first. Oh yeah. Up on your feet, power squats. Go. Three, two, one. Start power squatting it. Power squat it. You can see they're going pop, pop, drop. You need to touch your hands. You don't have to touch your hands in the middle. You can touch your hands in the middle. Not touch your hands in the middle. Whatever works for you. Keep doing this. Keep going. Pop, pop, drop, soft. Nice, soft. Keep your chest up. Don't lean forward. You still bouncing your, your step. Pop, pop, drop, get low. Pop, pop, drop, get low. Two bounces together, jump them apart. Drop into a deep squat. Two more. Time on your back for those double leg leg lifts. Flat on your back. Let's do it. Both legs straight up in the air. Drop them both down, tap the heels to the floor. Right back up. Squeeze it. Come on, come on. Tension on those abs the whole time. Tap and squeeze. Way up. Now keep it hold. It's supposed to undress and not putting your layers on. Five more. There's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Flip right over. Low plank Superman. That low plank. Same thing. You're just holding this position now. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Hold for a second and switch. Pull the other side for a second and switch. So right arm and left leg, then left arm and right leg. Tight, squeeze. Dig, dig, dig. Good, hips down, keep the back flat. Listen, when you're bringing that arm and leg up there, hold there for a second. Try to twist your hips as little as possible. Keep it straight and strong. Solid, tight, strong core. You're stiff as a board. Let's go, four more, four more. One each side. Tyson, why are you doing what are you doing? Don't worry about her. Hips down. Stop flicking it up there. Control it. And time. Stand up. You're standing up. It's just get off those arms for a second because we are right back to the push-ups and high plank Superman. So your arm's not getting a break. Just to get standing up, we're going right back to it. Break's over, suckers. Three, two, one. Go to push-ups. High plank, Superman right, high plank, Superman left, right back to two push-ups. This time go left and right. So whatever hand is going, the opposite leg is going. Back is flat, control it. Squeeze, squeeze. Oh yeah, These push up sets are our main sets of the day. Working your upper, your lower, your core. Let's go. Dig. Dig. Time. Up for those power squats. Power squats. Pop, pop, and drop it. Can't imagine why the neighbors hate us right here. Why no neighbors invite us over for dinner. Can't imagine. Drop. Pop, pop, and drop. Bam. Boom. Bounce together and jump apart. You can move forward like little freak show is doing here. You could do quarter turns if you wanted to. Move it around. Bounce it out. Pop, pop, and drop. Oh yeah. Dig it, dig it, dig it. Few more, few more. Pop, drop. Pop, pop, drop. Bounce for two. Drop, two more. And drop right out your backs. 
for those double leg leg lifts. Flat on your back. Spit it out and let's roll. Tap and squeeze. Pin your lower back to the floor. Dig it. Control it up. Squeeze, control it down. Tension on those abs all the time. Not your stomach, your stomach is an organ. Just tap and squeeze. Five more coming up. There's one, two, three, four, five. Flip right over. Low plank Superman, flip it over. Don't go nowhere. Just roll your ass over. Flip your ass over like a freaking pancake. You flip pancakes? You flip pancakes? I don't know, like a damn chef. I don't know. It's rolling pancakes, you flip. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Hold it out there for a second. Be careful, step back. Tight Just core. Step back. Stiffen up. Dig it, dig it, dig it. Get that back straight. Trying to kick someone in the face. Don't kick anyone in the teeth. Unless you got a good dental plan. Midge, what in the heck are you doing? That bright orange shirt kind of gives it away when you ain't doing shit. Yeah, you're just you sitting there. It, you know. Midge, you're moving so fast, it looks like you're sitting still. Pumping it out. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Four more, four more, two each side. Dig, dig, dig. Well, stop putting your face up his foot. <laughs> and time. It. You got to stop kicking his foot with your face. <laughs> that sucks when someone beats their fist up with your face. That's horrible. Wait, beats their fist up with beats your their face. fist up with your face. I'm gonna beat my fist up with your face. <laughs> okay. No, my fist, your face. All right, freak shows. We got next set of push-ups coming up. Shake it, stretch it. We got plank jacks. That's when your feet jump apart and together. So take a while, I guess it's gonna come up in the low plank also. Plank jacks. So we'll hit two push-ups, then two plank jacks. Our stand standing set is gonna be a pop squat, just like the power squat, except it's only one. So it's just pop, right hand touches the floor. Pop, left hand touches the floor. That's a pop squat. On your back is just flutter kicks. Both legs are kicking. Flip over to the low plank for a low plank jack where the feet jump apart and together, just like they did with the push-ups. And with that explanation, the only break you get is me explaining. That means it's time to freaking go. Sucker up. Let's roll. Tyson, where are you? Ready? We are rolling. Two push-ups. Push. Push. Two plank jacks. Two pushes. Two jacks. Pump it out. Jack. Jack. Push. Push. Jack. Jack. Push. Push. Jack. Jack. Yeah. Up on your feet. Right away. Pop squat. I'll keep it zoomed in here so you can see. Right hand touches the floor. Left hand touches the floor. Pop. Drop. It's just a pop squat. This one, your fingertip taps the floor. See how his feet jump apart, bounce together. Right hand touches. Look at that from a side view. From Coach. Werewolf. <laughs> Stingray was the guy, not werewolf. Stingray? Through a security guard. And you are Papa. I'm trying to think of his name. Major Coach. The Russian Coach. The teacher, the guy that was. Stingray. The older guy who was joining the Cobra Kai group. Out in the woods. Oh yeah! You thought it was werewolf, remember? Or who's yeah. werewolf then? Because you named yourself werewolf. Because I thought it was from Step Brothers. Oh, Step Brothers, yeah, yeah. Pop, squat. Five more. Five, four, three, two, one, and drop onto your back for flutter kicks. Flutter kicks! Right there, pump it, go. Full range. One leg is all the way up, one leg is all the way down, almost tapping the floor. You might even graze the floor. And then pumping with a decent pace while your lower back is pinned to the floor. 
Keeping tension on those abs. Tight. Tight. Ha. Punch yourself in the gut. Do some fight club shit on yourself to make sure that it's tight. Just don't go blowing up any buildings or whatever that guy did. Fight club. You never saw him. Fight up sounds like action. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Flip right over for a low plank jack. Right to it. Low plank and jump. Go. Low plank jack. Hips down. Back straight. Core tight. Pump it out. You need to modify. Just tap one foot. You can jump so out you can jump at a time. Down. Or pause reps where you jump out, catch it. Jump in, catch it. Jump out, catch it. Jump in, catch it. There's always a modification you can do. You could just keep jumping them out. You can go wide and pause, back in and pause. Or you could just do modify and tap the toe out to the side. Step out right, step out left. Always a way to make it happen. Oh, the sun wants to peek back in for us for a second. After it got to a freezing, like, I don't know, 64 degrees. Freezing us out here. Gonna have icicles in my nose hair soon. The ear hairs of mine. Yes, I'm a hairy beast, so what? And time, stand up, shake it out. I actually had a nose hair growing, not in my nose, on top of my nose, very strange. And someone actually saw it and plucked it off for me at the Empire Business Summit. That was Ray. And then these little freaks saw him doing it. They're like, what was Ray just doing? Was he picking your nose? And I told him, no, he was pulling a hair off the top of my nose. Weird shit. That's what Which is why I don't go and, and go to the doctor and find out that I have to work on my testosterone or anything like that. I don't need it. There's enough testosterone. That the, the, no, the hair is not just growing in the nose. It's growing on top of the fucking nose. Like I'm talking about out here. On top of the nose. Weird shit. A long one, too. Like a pluckable one. Anyway, that's a, that's the in-depth personal experience you get when you come join us for this boot camp session. Problem? You have a problem with my stories? It's a free class. Go ahead, complain to management. <laughs> what the heck is management? All right, push-ups with plank jacks going in three, two, one. Let's go. Two pushes. Two pushes. One, two, and two high plank jacks. One, two, boom. Boom. Breathe it out. Bang it. Bang it. Pump it. Pump it. Oh yeah. We're getting ready for those 24 hours of push-ups. We're gonna get thousands of them in. I don't know how many, but we're gonna get thousands. I know that. A couple thousand at least. Time! Flip it over, flutter kicks. Wait, legs. Oh. Pop squat. Good call. Pop squat. Stop looking at my crotch. Stop looking. Facebook, stop looking at my damn crotch. Get up here. Up here. Eyes up here. So that's what it's like for women that when they get their little their little surgeries done and they go showing their things off and they see guys' eyes down the whole time when they're talking to them and they have to tell them, look up. Same thing you people were doing, you little freak shows on Facebook. Just because of my crotch, you need to stop staring at my crotch. Problem? Free class. <laughs> Pop. Corona. Squat. Pop. Man drop. Pop. Man drop. Midge, get low. What is that? Get low, Midge. Touch the ground. Get low! Lick the ground. Oh, I'm so scared of my voice. My throat is so fucked. Corona, baby! Oh, yeah, we found it. Tap. Drop. Keep pumping it. Jump those feet apart. Five, four, three, two, one. And drop onto your backs for flutters. Flutters. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Ha, 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 ha. Pump it up. Digging those abs. Digging those abs. Pump that shit. Stop punking out. Stop acting like it's tired or you're sore or you have a bed, something. Modify it. Look, if you need to, just put both feet down, squeeze it up. There's always a. I said, if you need to, get your little bony ass legs up in the air. Oh, she needs to modify. She's trying to modify. The second I said it, 
listen, don't be one of those people that the second I say, if you need to modify, you can do it. And before you even say it, they already start doing the modification. Don't be that person. Don't be that person. Don't be that person. Pump them out. A little freak show. Best ab work of all time is getting freaking tickled when you have serious, serious tickle issues. Time, a little secret insider tip. Ab work is tickling. My brother, when we were little kids, I don't think you know if he did it with me, with my sisters, they had to go to the bathroom, he would tackle them and tickle them till they pissed themselves. True story. You learn all kinds of stuff here on these workouts. Flip over. Low plank jack. Why am I getting up? Shit, I got up for no reason. It was a wasted piece of energy. Move, 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 move. Low plank jack, go. Hips down. I got up to change the camera, but it was down here. I need to get up. Pump it. Forearms parallel to each other. Back straight. Abs tight. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. Five, one, Hi, freaks. One, time. Check this out. Pick a group. We have the, the, the push up group, we have the standing group, we have the on our back group. Back. And we have the low plank group. The low plank group, I'm going to cut out of the equation. So pick one of those three. Someone put it in the comment which one of those three you want to do again. Where we're going to just run through all the exercises in a row of that group. Choose one quick. That's your break. Either the push up group, the standing group, or the on your back group. I know you picked the on your back group, you sucker. And that's what he's doing. He's even trying to tell you to pick on your back. Someone put it in the comments quickly which one you want to do. And we're going to just. Are you waving at people again? Of course. You don't wave on the internet. You don't internet. wave. Only, don't. only, no. only, yeah, me and only me freak go. shows wave. Oh, listen, a wave on Instagram is the same as a poke on MySpace. Like the creeps <laughs> that used to poke if they saw poke a kid that seemed like a thirteen-year-old little boy that they wanted to go we meet. Real guy. They'd go and poke them on on MySpace. Poke. Waving is for creeps. Creeps wave. Oh, you are a creep. When everyone that waves to someone gets, you know, you become going. No. You become. Oh my God! They're going to add you to the FBI's most wanted list. That's a, that's a trap for the freaks. That's a trap for the, for the weirdos. They put that there, and the FBI monitors that. Who waves at people? Who pokes people on the internet? And this is for story. All right. Which one are we going to repeat? And do them all in a row. No one put all right. anything in the comments. Stop grabbing that. All right, so we are going to do the push-up group. Actually, screw it. No, you didn't put it, you didn't, no, you, I don't see a vote in there, so we're going to do all of them. You're screwed. We're going to do them all. We're not done. We're not done. Chaz, we are not done. We still got three more rounds to go. What? What? So we're doing the push-up round. No. So it's going to be rotating all those reps in. Let's go. I'll call it out. Follow me. Chop, chop. Push-up. Can you see me here? Yes. Let's go. Push-up to shoulder taps, okay? Two push-ups. Yay. Two push-ups, two shoulder taps, two push-ups, two knee tucks, knee tuck, knee tuck, two push-ups, plank walk, two push-ups, four mountain climbers, two push-ups, two supermans, just adding everything together, two push-ups, two plank jacks. One more time through, suckers. Who can hang in there? Who can hang in? Two push-ups, two shoulder taps, two push-ups, two knee tucks. Who can hang in? Who's going to crumble? Who's going to crumble? Two push-ups, two knee tucks, two push-ups, plank walk. Ooh, my arms are fading. Two push-ups, four mount climbers. Two push-ups, two Superman, two push-up, two plank jack. Oh yeah, two times straight through, suckers. You didn't think you could do it? I bet you just did it. Oh yes, Chaz, you were here with us. You were just saying. All right, making sure you didn't think we were done. All right, so now we're just gonna be on our back. We're gonna do all the back exercises in a row. Yeah, yes, you like the one on your back because it's nappy time for you, isn't it? Yeah. Nappy time. All right, on our backs, we're going to rotate through all the exercises. Nappy time for you, isn't it? I'll call them out. It's going to be two reps of each. 
Let me angle that down more because you can't see me. I'm gonna angle this a little down on your backs. Let's go, keep it tight. Starting lower crunch. Let's go. Two lower crunch. Two upper crunch. Two double crunch. Two single leg leg drop. Two double leg leg drop. Did I forget one? Four flutter kicks. Back to two lower crunch. Two lower. Two upper. Two double. Single leg leg drop. Double leg lift. Four flutter kick. Two more times through. Lower crunch for two. Upper crunch for two. Double crunch for two. Leg drop for two. Leg lift, double leg for two. Flutter for four. One more time through, suckers. Lower crunch, two. Upper crunch, two. Double crunch, two. Leg drop, two. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, coach. <laughs> Double leg. Two. Two. Flutter. Two. Two. Per side. And time. Freak shows. We are done. Let's get a hairy knuckle fist bump for the Facebook. Hairy knuckle fist bump for the Instagrams. For the tweeters. For the tweeters. For the MySpaces. And whatever else is out there. Now I hear there's all other kinds of crap coming out there too. Who knows what else? So listen. It's called a fist bump. Listen. Let me tell you something. Nice work. Yes, Chaz. Fist bumping it. Good work. Thank you for joining us. Listen, when it comes down to it. Everything in your life. Every move you make starts with your discipline. And your discipline starts in your mindset, your way of thinking, your way of operating. We are gonna be shifting the way things go even more so towards this side and the realm of personal development because as, as we've seen through this whole lockdown and pandemic and all this stuff, the crumbling of people's minds have just been so scrambled and so screwed up that to follow a, like a simple workout like this, you don't need any equipment, you could do it anywhere in the world, you could just follow the recording if you wanted to, you don't need any space, but yet we'll find excuses and it's not the work itself. It's the mindset and the discipline is where we need to, we need to focus on. And that is the, the, the direction, the trajectory that Peak Physique is gonna be taking is gonna be even more so. We've always been about personal development, always been about the mindset and the structure and the discipline, and the scheduling and the, and, and the coaching and the accountability, but we are gonna shift to that even more so than the fitness side. Listen, the workout, the fitness side is easy. Of course, we're gonna give you better workouts, better technique, better motivation, Maybe sometimes better entertainment, maybe worse vocabulary of words, but whatever, this is not an English class. But you will still get a better variety of the workout itself. Definitely not. Better variety of the workout itself. But it's all about the mindset, the focus, the, the uh, being coachable, Let, getting your shit together in your head so that you could just get through the workout, have fun. The workout is the easy part. I'm telling you that. The workout is the easy part. I've seen so many people's minds and lives that just let their shit just fall apart because of governments and, and elections and all this other bullshit going on out there. We are gonna have such a major shift in the way that Peak Physique is run that it's gonna be much more focused on actually coaching you and guiding you and mentoring you where you, you will have the motivation to just do this workout on your own anywhere in the world, just pop open the phone, hit the recording and play the recording when you need to because just doing the, the, the workout itself is gonna be the easy part. You need the, the direction. You need a different type of mindset. You need a different type of structure. You need a different type of mentoring because it's it's crazy and almost makes you makes you sick to your stomach seeing the way that people have just fallen off and let themselves go to crap. Just saying that they're gonna wait for things to go back to normal. Listen, I've been saying it for months. It's almost a year now. Shit's no, this is normal. Stuff's not going back normal. Get used to it. Create your own normal. People say they're gonna wait till the economy this. You create your own economy. Create your own weather forecast. That's why you need to think about it. It starts freaking here. So we're gonna be shifting the way that we work things here 
into a lot more on the personal development side, the mo- mindset side, the accountability side, the coaching and mentoring side, just as much or even more than the actual fitness and nutrition itself. I will talk to you later. Thank you for joining us. You are fucking awesome. No excuses. I'm guessing Freak Show has something he wants to tell you. Very, very normal children. I can't imagine where they get it from. I will talk to you later. You are freaking awesome. No No excuses. excuses.